Welcome to Charles Today, my name is David Linton and today's edition for Tuesday the 10th of April comes to you from London and we start with currencies. Just interestingly, whenever I open my screen in the morning, the first thing I notice is how much green or red there is and we see a lot more green this morning so I just know that markets have, just before I even start, markets have had a, 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 a relatively good uh, 24 hours but uh, a few exceptions, Bitcoin, um, US nat gas, some soft commodities uh, lower um, but on the whole, um, everything's up because of the screen of green. Uh, the dollar actually has been sinking lower. It's up this morning, but it uh, did have a bad day in the end yesterday. It fell away again. So we've activated this downside target of 3.5%. We're bearish on all three time frames. Um, I've, I've seen analysis saying that you know this is as low as the dollar can go. Um, but uh, for the moment, calling the bottom is a mug's game, so uh, dollar is still looking pretty bearish. Of course, uh, that means euro dollar is looking more bullish, um, and so we're above the cloud there on all three time frames. Uh, it's uh, just very binary, uh, dollar falling, euro rising. And as I said yesterday, it shows up really in the uh, yen chart, which is where we tend to see the dollar um, falling or rising soonest. And we we actually fell away less heavily on the dollar yesterday in the end, and we are just holding the uh, bullish trend on the lagging line. So it may be uh, a mixed picture there because we are just seeing some dollar support against the yen. Uh, sterling uh, is looking stronger against that weaker dollar, 142, nudging this January high again. Um, really the signs of a sort of ascending triangle building here on sterling. So it is looking better. Obviously we need to break that 143 level. And if we look at uh, sterling against the euro, we see here that um, we really are uh, looking bullish as well. So um, that's quite key too. Um, taking a look at the uh, sterling Swiss chart, we see here again we're bullish and against the Australian dollar, um, we're also seeing quite a lot of volatility there. We're as high as 185 yesterday, back to 183. So, um, uh, but sterling has still got the upper hand there too. Uh, Bitcoin is uh, looking bearish again. It was looking better yesterday, but had a big drop away very suddenly yesterday. Uh, so we're back into bearish territory with Bitcoin on the short term chart. And of course, the medium term is bearish as well. The key thing is where will Bitcoin find support? Looking at the S&P 500, we're bearish there too. Uh, although we did recover somewhat yesterday, we are still bearish below the cloud. And the NASDAQ 100, uh, the tech definitely outperformed yesterday. But again, it's still bearish on the short term chart. And against the uh, the Dow, uh, we look at uh, we see here on the on the on the that was the Nasdaq uh, also bearish medium term. The Dow actually recovered a little bit, has got back above the cloud, but only momentarily, and so it's still looking pretty bearish. Uh, so whilst U.S. markets have made a bit of a recovery, uh, we are still seeing um, them in general bearish zone, uh, and they've got work to do to get back into bullish territory. The same there, the Russell 2000 index has work to do as well. Uh, the futures, uh, the S&P future up one and a third percent this morning. Uh, looking at the Nasdaq E-mini, that's uh, up quite strongly, up one and three quarter percent. So it does suggest the U.S. markets are going to go high, open higher. We are seeing uh, the, the trade war rhetoric reducing and uh, consequently markets are rising on that. Uh, the FTSE 100 up about half a percent this morning, uh, looking strong there to over 7,200, so back up uh, into a bullish zone. The FTSE 250 also looking more bullish there. Of course, if the futures markets indicate, as they indicate that the US market is opening at one or two percent higher, that puts the U.S. markets into that, that bullish territory as well. The DAX looking strong there, um, and the CAC current also looking quite strong uh, as we as we push uh, higher. Japan was up just under half a percent and uh, is looking bullish short term. The Hang Seng also just hitting uh, cloud resistance there, but also looking um, uh, a little bit better short term, but not yet above the cloud the same way as the Nikkei is. Uh, and looking at the Chinese market, recovering quite strongly as well, but not um, making it through the cloud to bullish territory. The hang, uh, the the Sensex, the Indian market, looking much much stronger, uh, short term. Still has term work to do in the medium term, but looking pretty good. And the Australian market recovering, having had a pretty terrible uh, week or so. 
dollar down, commodities up. That's the general theme. Uh, Brent crude jumped very significantly uh, yesterday and continues again this morning. We're back at uh, 69.50, so back into bullish territory, nudging that $70 level. We've still got this 71.75 target here, so we could still see another couple of dollars upside. Uh, and looking at the WTI chart, much the same picture there. US nat gas uh, is just still sitting in the doldrums. Uh, if we look at some of the other commodities, so heating oil looks strong, just like crude. Uh, looking at, um, uh, so we're looking here at coffee, looking stronger short term. Cocoa, a lot of the commodities falling this morning, but uh, uh, that weaker dollar has helped them. But cocoa is still bearish short term, sugar is still bearish short term. We get to gold, and gold is. Uh, Really making this transition to uh, short-term bullish. We've got an upside target of 1351, um, so looking a bit better there. Silver also looking stronger, um, back above the cloud. The uh, taking a look at uh, this is the German Bund. We don't look at that uh, that often, but uh, German. Uh, so this is the 10-year um, uh, uh, Treasury yield, uh, looking. Um, just really in the doldrums at the moment, not moving much in the short term, but still bullish in the long term. This is the German Bund, of course, they, this is inverted, so this is actually the bond price rather than the yield. Um, and here we see how bonds have been flat for the last week. Uh, Apple uh, was up very slightly yesterday, um, didn't participate as much as the other tech stocks. Amazon was up very strongly, up at 1.4%, uh, but still bearish below the cloud. We're seeing here tech still has a lot of work to do. Google still bearish below the cloud as well, um, up 1% yesterday. Facebook sitting these high 150s, and this seems to be the level that we're going to settle for a little while. And then Microsoft uh, just also just uh, holding this bullish trend just, um, and the short term just struggling to keep in that bullish mode. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.